Alright, here it is, the finished rotary HP tumbler. <laughs> uh, it's been running for about a good 40 minutes and the motor is ice cold. The fan is either doing a really good job, which is blowing a lot of air, or the power supply that I upgraded to is actually supplying enough current so the motor is not overheating. Let me turn her off. Okay, so here's the changes that were made. I upgraded the 12 volt 500 milliamp hour power uh, wall wart to a GameCube power supply, which is 12 volts, 3.2 amps, 3.25 amps. Yep. Also, I salvaged a PC fan out of an old computer that was due for the heat pile. Wired everything up together. Use some screws to screw it in. And it's blowing air right at the motor. Also at the belt and the pulleys, which I'm not sure that matters or not. But that's what it looks like. I epoxied the power supply on the bottom because I didn't want to have it hanging out of the back. But here it is. Um, like I said, no more motor overheating like before. That could be due to the power supply. I have a feeling it was the power supply. It was just uh, not supplying enough current. But um, as for the container, thanks to a suggestion, I went to a suggestion on CalGuns. I went to um, Smart and Final and found this pickle jar, I guess you could call it. It's plastic. Um, has a nice big lid, kind of like a mason jar. Um, I glued some three strips of uh, quarter inch thick rubber strips inside. Um, crazy glued it. Seems to be holding in there quite well. That's to help agitate the brass as it spins. Um, should be good for my reloading needs. Um, normally don't do more than 200 rounds at a time and 200 rounds of 6.5 Creedmoor should fit in there quite nicely. Um, that's at the most. Normally I do 100 rounds at a time, but uh, there it is. There she rolls. This little fan does put out a lot of air. from the back side. Probably be a good idea to put some rubber feet on it. It's got no feet on the bottom for right now. But noise levels to a minimum without any brass in there, of course. Still don't have stainless steel pins, so I'll report back once uh, it's loaded with brass and pins and water.